The areas of opportunity in clean energy are extraordinary. So there are really two areas of opportunity. One is first day cost savings. No doubt uh, that whether it's, it's data-driven efficiency or on-site solar, it, in, in a lot of markets you can save money today uh, versus what you're paying uh, through your traditional supply. But what, what's really you know, the area of most interest to me, I think, is the ability to hedge supply over a long period of time. And you look at Fortune 500s, and, and the vast majority of them are wholly exposed to energy price volatility over the next two decades. You can't buy financial hedge for 20 years uh, for electricity or natural gas unless you do it with on-site solar or off-site wind. And that's really where you know, the economic value, I think, really uh, jumps off the page uh, is in that hedge value, that ability to, to mitigate price risk over the long term. Because that's where you, know, you can fix a price, because as long as the sun shines and the wind blows, you know, that, that fuel's free. Uh, so once you've made that initial investment or you do it through a long-term uh, power purchase agreement, you can lock that rate. And then you get out of the game of living with the, the peaks and valleys that are uh, traditional power markets. They have been and will always be uh, a volatile market. And, and who knows, will it go over the next two decades? You know, folks that tell me they know where it's going to go, are, if they're right, will be the first uh, people in the history of energy to predict price movement over 20 years. And, and I think we need to get out of that game. I think we need to look for opportunities where we can hedge uh, supply, uh, mitigate risk, uh, and whether it's on-site solar or off-site wind, look for ways in which we can really you know, reduce that price exposure uh, and lock in rates and really lock in economic value for the long term.